Hi everyone, welcome back to Art Lessons with Rossi. Today I am going to show you how to stretch watercolor paper at home. Uh, the reason why we stretch watercolor paper is so that uh, it doesn't curl. So as we put lots of water on watercolor paper, uh, it, if it's not attached to anything, it has a tendency to get waves in it, no matter what the uh, well, poundage of the paper. Uh, mostly if you're working on some lighter papers, anything from 70 to 150 pounds, usually you want to stretch those papers uh, and you need to uh, basically adhere them onto a, a board in order for them to continuously get taut every time they dry. So how do we do that or what are we going to need today? So today we're going to be used uh, gummed watercolor uh, paper tape and we want that tape to be about two inches wide and uh, the tape is similar to packing tape. It has a gummed uh, adhesive on one side that when you get it wet becomes activated and the other side is craft paper. We will also be needing sponges. These are some uh, regular household sponges that I've actually cut into a piece that's more manageable. We're going to need two. We're going to use one that's clean and one that's for uh, the tape and getting the glue activated. We're going to need watercolor paper of the poundage of your choice. And I'm going to be using my drawing board today. So this is the kind of drawing board that has clips on the other side. Usually you put your paper right in here, but this time we're going to be working on the back of the drawing board and adhering the uh, watercolor right to the board itself. We also need a source of water. So as you can see, I'm at the kitchen uh, so that I can get my paper wet. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my paper is going to fit onto the board and uh, around that paper, I want some space. I don't want it to go right to the edge of the board so that I have something for it to stick to. And uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to take my uh, watercolor tape and I need to measure out uh, how long it needs to be to cover all four sides of my paper. And I want about two inches to hang over the, uh, the edge of the paper. So I need two pieces that are long. This paper uh, tape is really easy to tear, so you can do that without any scissors. And then um, I'm going to make sure that it's the right width. And it's okay if um, my paper tape has a big overhang. It can even go on the other side of um, the board, so this could even go wrap all the way around. So now I've trimmed those pieces. Um, I'm going to have my sponges handy. And I'm going to take my uh, paper and start getting it wet. First, I'm going to get my board uh, out of the way, not too far, because I, I want it close. And then I'm going to um, get my water to be about lukewarm. I don't want it too hot. I don't want it too cold. I just want it to be about lukewarm. I'm going to take my paper. And this is the messy part. So make sure that your paper is angled away from you so that it doesn't drip all over your board. So you wanna uh, get one side of the paper wet so that it doesn't drip all over me. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna get the other side of the paper wet. And then I'm gonna go to the back of the paper and I'm gonna wet that as well. So I want both sides of the paper and every part of that paper to get wet. If you have a container that's big enough for you to put your paper into, you can also uh, uh, do that. You can soak it inside of a container, but uh, I don't. And so this is the easiest way for me to make sure that everything's wet. If you see a dry spot, make sure you go back and wet that as well. I see one little dry spot. And watercolor paper is really durable. Uh, it's because it has a lot of sizing in it. And so you should be able to get uh, the paper wet without any issue. 
uh, hold it at an angle like I'm doing here and make sure that all the water drips off of the end. It will stream when the, the paper is really wet. Now it's basically to the point where we want it. After I've done that and the excess water is out of my paper, I'm going to make sure that the paper is right side up, that I know which side is right, the right side up. You can mark that for yourself or you can look for a watermark. A lot of your nicer watercolor paper has a watermark on it, like your Arsh paper, uh, your Fabriano paper is going to have a watermark. I'm going to take my paper right side up and I'm going to place it onto my board. Now I'm going to take my clean sponge, the sponge that I'm using that um, isn't going to be touching any glue, and I'm going to um, rub it over the surface of the paper, making sure that all of the bubbles are out of the paper. So just smoothing the paper and making sure that there's no major wrinkles or bubbles and that the paper is laying flat. Now that that's done, I'm going to grab the short end of uh, my watercolor tape. I'm going to grab my other sponge, the one that's for the glue, and I'm going to activate the glue on this uh, piece of tape. To do that, I'm going to put my uh, watercolor uh, tape gum side up. I'm going to put the sponge directly on it, and I'm going to pull. So this is the easiest way to get that um, adhesive activated without um, taking off so much of it. You don't want to run, run it under water, for example, because sometimes it'll take too much of the uh, glue off, and that could be an, an issue later. I'm going to uh, run my finger uh, along the side that's overlapping the paper first, and then use my hand to push down and make sure that the rest of that watercolor tape is um, adhering to both the paper and the board. Now that I've done that, I'm not going to go to the other side. Instead, I'm going to build off of the one that I have going to the two long ones first. So I'm going to take my next piece of watercolor tape. I'm going to wet my dirty sponge. I'm going to take that tape, I'm going to run my sponge over it by putting it onto the tape and then pulling. If I feel like I didn't get an, an edge, I can do it again. And you want to overlap the tape uh, onto the paper about an inch to three-fourths uh, three of a, or yeah, three-fourths of an inch. Um, and wherever the, top, the tape is touching the paper, we will, uh, we will not be able to use that part of the paper. This tape is not uh, acid-free, and it doesn't come back off of the part of the paper that it's touching. It's really, it needs to adhere to the paper so that it, it can pull it back and can make it top again. But uh, when we finish our piece, or as we're working on our piece, we're only gonna work inside the picture plane that we can see, and then we will trim our paper right on that paper uh, tape line. So we want to make sure um, not to try to pull it off or try to uh, make our picture plane um, uh, extend past that. So I'm going to take my sponge again. I'm going to get this piece wet, making sure that all of it is nice and wet. And again, I'm going to overlap about uh, three-fourths of an inch on that. I'm going to start inside the paper first. That's the part that's important. That's the part you want to get to stick. And then moving back from that line and then curving and then wrapping that tape all the way around the board if it's extending that far. And you just want to make sure that that's going to stick right to the paper. That's the part that's important. So I'm going to take my last piece of tape. I'm going to get that wet. And again, I'm going to overlap about half an inch to three-fourths of an inch. If you don't get your paper tape square, 
So if one paper tape is just a little bit uh, off, that's okay. You just need to mark um, the inside of your of your um, picture plane uh, before you start. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for the paper to become uh, nice and flat. So right now you can see that there are bubbles in the paper and all those bubbles will completely go away because the paper will get pulled in both directions with this tape adhering to the board. Once you're finished putting on the paper tape, uh, leave the paper somewhere flat to dry. So uh, find a flat space, it can go directly on the ground, or if you have a, a nice table where you can leave it at, and uh, let it dry. It needs to dry for at least 30 minutes uh, before you do anything. Uh, and again, you're, you're going to watch for all of these bubbles to have gone away and for your paper to be completely straight and taut. Let's talk about tips and tricks if your paper tape starts to come off of the board somehow. So there's a couple ways that that could happen. You could have taken too much um, glue off of the paper tape before, um, before you put it down, or maybe it's not sticking directly to your paper and it's lifting off a little bit, or maybe one of these pieces is starting to curl up Sometimes that happens. So here's what uh, you should do. If you have a section, uh, that's not happening on my paper right now, but if this is happening to you and the tape, maybe it's too close to the edge of the paper or uh, it's just starting to curl up, what you wanna do is you wanna go in a little bit further and add a piece of tape. So you wanna measure again, maybe do even a little bit more of an overhang so it can wrap all the way around the board. And if this piece of tape was coming up and lifting off of me, I would take another um, another paper uh, watercolor tape. I would get it wet, making sure that I'm not taking off too much of that glue. And then I would reinforce whatever um, is coming up and go over the edge of where it's coming up making sure that tape sticks first to the paper and then everywhere else. And then to reinforce it, I would wrap it around the book. If you're worried about a corner, something's happening with a corner, you can take a piece of paper tape and uh, go at an angle. So you can take your sponge again, get that tape wet and then reinforce the corner by going at a 45 degree angle and, re uh, and making sure that that part of it is sticking. So those are some common uh, issues that can happen while the paper is stretching and you just want to watch it. You want to make sure that um, you don't see any of that uh, tape pulling off of the uh, paper. Um, the other thing that could happen and why that might happen is maybe your paper is too wet and so that also can um, keep it from the tape to sticking to it. So just making sure that your paper has drained but is not uh, dry and that your paper tape is, um, you activate that adhesive but don't take away so much of the glue that it can't, uh, it, that it's not sticky anymore.